Yeah, I thought it was a uh, it was a great college hockey game. Um, I thought uh, BC really made a push on us. Uh, TJ played great in net. Um, it was a, it was an unbelievable atmosphere from the start of the game. The fans up top, the northeastern crowd, um, it was outstanding. So that gave our team a lot of life right off the uh, the face off. I thought we um, I thought we established our four check early. That I thought we kind of got away from a little bit. Um, but when we were doing that, I thought we were playing our best hockey. So it was it was all around. It was a great effort by our guys. It was a great game, and obviously really excited to get the win tonight. Thanks, Coach. We'll take questions for both Coach Keith and TJ here. Uh, let's go to George whenever you're ready. Go ahead, George. Yeah, Coach Keith, uh, can you just speak on TJ's performance tonight? What was it like to view that from your advantage point over on the bench? And TJ, can you follow that up with what tonight was like for you? Yeah, TJ was outstanding tonight. Um, you know, when you're a coach on the bench and he makes a big save, you can just hear the whole group get excited about that. And um, you know, I heard his name an awful lot on the bench tonight from his teammates. So um, he, he was outstanding. He was athletic. He was confident in there. Uh, he was finding the puck. Um, and I really liked his compete at the next. I thought BC went to the net pretty hard and there were some, some scrums around our net and I love how he hung in there. Yeah. To build on that, it's really exciting playing in front of that crowd. And when the guys in front of you are doing everything they can, it's, it's fun to just play behind them and compete and you know, they'll, they'll handle their job. So it's an awesome group to play behind. Thanks. We'll go to uh, Rich Thompson. Rich, whenever you're ready. Hey, um, Coach, uh, just talk about Fontaine's goal. It looks like that was just a kid was just not going to give up on that play. Yeah, there's no question. I thought he was outstanding all night. I thought Gunnar had a really, really good game for us. He was determined tonight. Um, I loved how hard he came back through the middle of the rink. He was physical. And, and I agree with you. It, there was no way that he wasn't going to put that through the net tonight. So uh, good for him. Um, he, we needed him to be really good tonight. And he uh, he came through for us. So coach, we'll go to uh, Cullen whenever uh, you're ready. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, so TJ, uh, we noticed uh, during during this one that in some of the player timeouts, you would, you would go down the ice in that ice lot area. And definitely I talked about that earlier in the season. Is that something that you and uh, Keith I have done? Uh, earlier in practice or can you speak to that at all yeah it's something I've seen him do a lot in games and obviously he's been very successful and it's been awesome to just learn from him and see everything that he does to make him one of the best goalies in the country and uh, that's something that I wanted to implement before coming here I hadn't played with commercial breaks so um, I knew I had to figure something out I'm actually I'm facing the other way though so it's not the exact same thing I talked to uh, Kondo about that to switch it up make it a little unique so Thanks, TJ. Uh, Ken, whenever you're ready, uh, go ahead. TJ, what did you know about the bean pot? Obviously, you've never played in it, and was it everything you expected? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I, I haven't been able to play in front of fans over the past two years because of COVID, so it was awesome uh, playing Matthews and then coming here, seeing all the Northeastern people show up and, and show their support. It was unbelievable to play in front of that. Scott, whenever you're ready, go ahead, Scott. Jerry, uh, you guys had two hard-fought games against BU earlier this year. Uh, what do you expect uh, from next week's matchup? Um, yeah, they, they, they've gotten healthy. Um, they're a really good team. I didn't get a chance to watch much of their game tonight, so I'll watch that on tape. Um, but, yeah, they're fast. They're skilled. They're big. They're strong. Um, you know, they're, in my opinion, they're one of the top teams in the country, so when they're healthy. Um, so we'll have our work cut out for us, but uh, we're excited about the challenge. Um, obviously, we've got a huge game against UMass Lowell on Friday night, and then we'll start preparing for BU right after that. We'll go to Anthony. When you're ready, Anthony, go ahead. Hey, Coach. You know, uh, obviously, each each year, each tournament provides different challenges for you. Um, this one's a little you know, unique in the aspect where, you know, you're game planning for a, a BC team that's missing, you know, three of their best players, at the Olympics, you know, you guys are obviously down dead and now you have to game plan, you know, for BU that's in the same boat, you know, missing a goalie. Uh, how, how much of a unique challenge does that, you know, present given the situation with the Olympics? You know what? I don't, I don't think it changes much. I don't, I don't think BC changed much how they play. Uh, they still have a lot of good players and a lot of talent on that team. Obviously, they're missing some good players there. Um, but, 
you know what? I, I still thought BC, you know, they made the push like they always do. Um, they're fast in transition. So it didn't really change much uh, of our game plan, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it is, you know, with the players being at the Olympics, there's some good players on all four teams that are missing, but there's also a lot of good players that are, that are still here and it gives guys opportunities and um, there's enough talent spread out amongst the, uh, the four teams for sure. Coach, we'll take two more here. Uh, Mike, whenever you're ready, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Coach, you know, we've seen it for the past few years, McDonough on the power play with his lethal one-timer, but then we saw today Sam Colangelo on the opposite side hits that puck about as hard as he can. How much of a luxury does that afford to you to get that power play unit with two guys with just a missile of a shot out there? Yeah, it's it's huge. You know, the, the setup that we run with um, – you know, we want guys that are hungry that can one time pucks in those areas. And and, and a guy like Dunzo, you know, he um, seeing him do it every day, you know, our younger guys learn from that, too. And, you know, Sammy sees that and he works on it and sees how he's having success. And uh, just like, you know, McDonough watched, you know, guys like Adam got that on video a ton when he came in and how he did it. And um, so. Yeah, it's, it's something that uh, that's why they're there in those spots. And, um, you know, I, I, it was a big time goal. I thought um, I thought McDonough, they were kind of shading him a little bit. And he found that seam to Sammy. And I just love how he, you know, he kind of put that through the net. Thanks, Coach. We'll take two more here. Uh, George, go ahead when you're ready. Coach, you guys are going to go for your fourth straight Beanpot title next Monday. What do you guys have to do to achieve that? Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to make sure we're checking well. This is a good team that we're playing. Um, you know, you got to control your emotions. I, I think obviously playing in tonight's game gives us a little bit of, of experience. Um, there's a lot of new guys that haven't played in this, and there's a lot of um, oohs and ahs going on in the game, and the emotions are high. And um, you know, you got to kind of stay in the moment. Um, there's times in the game where you kind of have to settle down and slow the game down a little bit. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we've got to play to our identity versus BU and uh, got to make sure that we're on the right side of the puck all the time. And, and we're going to have to have our legs. I mean, they're a fast team, just like BC. We got to make sure that we're skating well that night. I'll take one more here. Uh, Alex, and everybody go ahead, Alex. Yeah. Hi, TJ. Um, coming in tonight, you had big shoes to fill and one win under your belt. Where was your head at going into the game and how are you feeling now? Um, I, I feel good now getting ready for a big game on Friday against Lowell. Uh, coming in, I was just excited to have this unbelievable opportunity and I just wanted to make the most of this position that I'm in. Um, so it was awesome to be able to go out there and, and just experience it as a player and and playing the first bean pot that I've been a part of. So it was unbelievable.